Hi friends, this is Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. Today in this lecture, we will see few problems of uh, acceptance angle and numerical aperture. So without wasting your time, let's uh, see these problems. Question number one. The light enters from air into the optical fiber core having acceptance angle of 20 degrees. What will be the numerical aperture, Na, it is denoted by Na, this numerical aperture, of the fiber. So, here it is saying that the acceptance angle of the optical fiber is 20 degrees and uh, I want to calculate the numerical aperture from this acceptance angle. Since the, numerical uh, since the acceptance angle is given as uh, 20 degrees and the refractive index in air we know is 1, okay, since this is in air so it is 1 for air and uh, the formula to find the numerical aperture is given by n naught sine theta of acceptance angle so we will find the sine theta of this acceptance angle which is given here okay 20 degrees and n naught is the refractive index of the medium so it is 1 okay so 1 sine of uh, 20 degrees 1 multiplied by sine 20 degrees so it comes out to be 0 0.342 so the numerical aperture would be 0 0.342 okay so now let's see another problem here the question is if any optical fiber has the refractive index of the core equals to 1.4 it has been denoted by n1 and the refractive index of the cladding is 1.3 we have denoted it by n2 then i want to calculate the numerical aperture of the fiber so in this case we have the refractive indices of both core and cladding of the optical fiber and i want to calculate the numerical aperture of the fiber from these refractive indices so the formula for numerical aperture in this case is under root of n1 square minus n2 square in previous case we calculated the numerical aperture from another formula n not sine theta of acceptance angle if uh, we have numerical if we have the acceptance angle but here we will use this one so just put the values of n1 and n2 here and uh, you will get the result as 0 0.519 so this is the numerical aperture I hope you like the video. This is uh, quite a simple problem, but uh, uh, it is very useful when uh, we should know that uh, what kind of a formula we have to use to find the numerical aperture as per the given uh, conditions or as per the given information. In the next video, we will see more such problems based on the optical fibers. Okay, so thanks for watching. Friends, for more such videos, you can uh, subscribe my channel, Engineering Made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can visit my blog www.engineeringmadeeasypro.com its link is given in the description of this video you can check it and uh, see you soon in the next video till then bye bye